Okay. Now I place this book on the table. Should I use here at the table? No. I should use here in the table. Oh. What the preposition should I use here? Do you have the same problem of using preposition in your day-to-day -day life? Don't worry, just relax. I'm here to teach about the prepositions in the right manner. Welcome to the class. In the prepositions, the contents we have are introduction, definition, types of prepositions, and its examples, finally, conclusion. Hello friends, I am very happy to see you all. We know very well that parts of speech are very important for a language and the very essential thing of the parts of speech is preposition. In this lesson, we are going to see about what is preposition and its types and about how they are used in our regular life. Let's see first what is preposition. A preposition is a word which expresses relationship of a noun or a pronoun to other words of the sentence. They act to connect the people, objects, time and locations in a sentence. Prepositions are usually short words and they are normally placed directly in front of nouns. In some cases, you will find prepositions in front of gerund verbs. Preposition give complete sense to the sentence. Let's see some examples of them. There are some examples given for the prepositions and they are in, at, on, to, at, by, for, with, under, above, into, onto, upon, about, behind, beside, before, after, towards, inside, outside, below, around are commonly used in our day-to-day -day life. For example, in this sentence, the dog is under the table. Students listen carefully. The dog is under the table. See the picture here. The dog is lying under the table, not in front of the table or behind the table. The dog is lying under the table. Here, under is the preposition which connects the two nouns, the table and the top. Now we will move with the types of prepositions. Considering various situations, they are divided into five types. The five types of prepositions are Prepositions of time, prepositions of direction, prepositions of place, prepositions of agent, and prepositions of instruments. Let's see first the prepositions of time. These prepositions are used to refer time in various aspects. Example, at, on, in. Those three prepositions are often used to refer the prepositions of time. Students, see in this table column the prepositions in with the time nature. First, months are years. For example, in March, in 2005. For more example, in the month of December, we have our annual day. In March, we have our annual exams. And in 2005, I was studying my 8th standard. And the second is, particular time of a day or a month or an year. Example, in evening, in morning, in the third week of April, in winter, in summer. For more examples, in the Monday, we all have common prayer. In the third week of April, we will have moral exams. Thirdly, a century 
or a specific time in past, our future, etc. Example, in the 20th century, in early days, in the Stone Age, in future, in past. For more examples, in the Stone Age, by using stones, people got fire. In future, I will become a doctor or engineer. In the past, I was very talkative in my school days. The second preposition of time is on. First, a day. For mentioning the days, we use the preposition on before them. Example, on Sunday, on Tuesday, on Thursday. For more example, on every Sundays, we have holiday. But on Monday, we have to go to school. On Friday, me and my father plan to go for a trip. We can also use the preposition on for mentioning the dates and particular days also. On the 7th of February. On the 7th of February, we may have a holiday. On September 5, we all celebrate the Teacher's Day. The third preposition of time is at. First, time of a clock. Example, at 3 o'clock, at 4.20 p.m. For more example, at 3 o'clock, we have a meeting. At 4.20 p.m., the meeting will be over. Second, short and precise times. Example, at night, at sunset, at noon, at lunch time, at the moment, at bedtime. For more example, at night we have planned to have a dinner. At sunset, the climate will be very beautiful to watch. Students, for your better understanding, we have given some more examples. In the first sentence, she was born in 1986. Here it shows a year. So we have used here the preposition in. In the second sentence, I was very happy on the first day of my job. Here the first day is represent a very particular day. So we use here the preposition on. Let's see the third sentence. The party will start at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. we have used here because 8 p.m. is an exact time. So we have used the preposition at here. Students, let's move to the second type of preposition and that is preposition of place. Prepositions of place. These prepositions are used to mention the several types of places. Example, on, at, in. Firstly, in is mostly used for a place having some sort of physical and virtual boundary. Here, note the point students, having some sort of physical or virtual boundary. Secondly, the preposition on is usually used for mention a surface. Thirdly, the preposition at is usually used for mentioning the specific places. The preposition in with its nature of the places. It denotes the place having some physically or visual boundary. Examples are in a hall, in a school, in the building, in the box, in the car. Examples in a hall, in the school, in the building, in the box, in the car. Students listen here carefully. In a hall, people used to take rest. In the box, I have three chocolates. In a school, students get education. The second type of preposition that used to mention place is on. Here the preposition on is used to mention the surfaces of the things. Examples on the table, on the blackboard, on the page, on a wall. 
for more clearance, the book is on the table. Here, the table is a sur surface and the TV is set on the wall. Here, the wall is a surface and teacher asks the student to draw a picture on the blackboard. Here, the blackboard is also a surface. The third type of preposition for places is art. Here, we use the preposition art to denote the specific places. For example, at the bus stop, at the entrance, at front of the chair. Students, for your better understanding, let's go with more examples. My friend will be waiting for me at the bus stop. At the entrance, the food is here for students. At front of the chair, the chairman is standing. Students, here we have more examples that can make you more clear about the topic. In the first sentence, they live in England. Here, England is a place and a country. So, here we use the preposition in. In the next sentence, they placed their books on a table. Here, the table is a surface. On that surface, the book was placed. So, here we use the preposition on. Thirdly, I met him at the bus stop. Here, the bus stop denotes an exact place. So, the preposition that we used here is at. Students, let's move on to the next topic, preposition of direction. Prepositions of direction. These prepositions express the direction of something. Example, into, to, though, towards. Examples are, they are going to the classroom. The snake is coming towards her. Through the wire, the current passes. Here, through, to, towards are the prepositions of direction. Now, uh, for instead of using uh, to, we can make the sentence as uh, they are going in the direction where the classroom is located and the snake is coming in the direction where the girl is standing. The current passes in the direction of the wire. Now the directions are replaced by the prepositions called uh, to, towards and uh, through. Uh, as these prepositions are showing the direction, we calling the prepositions as the preposition of directions. Students, let's move to the next topic, prepositions of agent. Prepositions of agent. These prepositions are used to express a casual relationship between the noun doer and an action. Here, the doer is the person who does an action and the action a thing done by the person. Example, by and with. These prepositions are used to connect the doer and the action. Examples are, Ode on Grecian Urn was written by John Cage. A lot of noise was made by the kids. The task was finished by him. As we see in the definition, uh, by is a connecting word of doer and the action. Here in the first sentence is, John Keats is a doer of the action and the action is writing. Here the write, writing and the uh, doer, John Keats uh, are connected by the prepositions called by. And the second sentence, the Keats are uh, the doer. And the action is uh, making nice. Here the two things are connected by uh, the prepositions called by. Students, the last type of preposition that we are going to see is the prepositions of instrument. Prepositions of instrument. It is also called as preposition of devices or machines. Such prepositions are used for joining nouns like instruments, devices, machines, etc with the other words in the sentence example on by with etc examples are he went to home by a car the lock cannot be opened with the keys she watered the plants with the water pipe in the first sentence 
he went to home by a car here a car is uh, an instrument or device like something and here uh, the noun is home here the noun and the uh, instrument are connected by the prepositions called by let's have a look a look on the second sentence the lock cannot be opened with the key here the key is an instrument here the key is uh, connected with the noun called uh, lock uh, by the preposition with um, now we have uh, see the third sentence she watered the plant with the help of a water pipe here water pipe is uh, uh, in instruments the instrument was uh, connected with the noun plants uh, with the prepositions called with fell students now we are at the conclusion part here the lesson gets to the end and let's have a revise on this topic we have seen what a preposition is and its divisions into five types as prepositions of time that helps to denote the various time measurements and prepositions of place that denotes several types of places then the prepositions of direction it mentions the moves of a noun or pronoun then prepositions of agent it talks the casual relationship between the doer and the action and finally the prepositions of instruments here we use this preposition to join the nouns especially the devices we have seen the prepositions elaborately with more examples hope you have all liked this video thank you for watching thank you